Hey fam, it's Trevina with TLB Designs. Um, today I am concluding part four of our My Christmas, My Style 2018. It's a Christmas collaboration that was hosted by the beautiful Miss Catherine over at Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. And so each week we have uploaded a video just showcasing shopping hauls, DIYs, decorate with me with Christmas, tablescapes, it's whatever space that we chose to um, showcase or, or highlight for you all. And so this week is my final um, upload for the collaboration. So if you would like to see um, how I style my tablescapes for Christmas 2018, then keep watching. On a clean slate, I began styling with this beautiful intricately detailed table runner that I picked up from Pier 1. That is the anchor for my entire table theme. And to that, I am going to complement it with these beaded detail placemats I picked up from Home Goods. I felt they were the perfect addition and complementary piece to this particular table runner. My theme this year, as you know, is Champagne Wishes and Reindeer Dreams. So I want to bring that in with these gorgeous champagne charger plates. I picked these up from Hobby Lobby. And as I began to build my layers, I want to keep in mind texture. So I'm going with the monochromatic theme. And so for that, I need to layer on detail. And so look at the beautiful detailing in this plate. Pick these up from Tuesday morning. And the silver detailing give me just that level of texture and interest that I'm looking for in my table design. These should look familiar to you guys because they were just used in my fall tablescape. So I'm going to continue with my layering effect and add the complementary salad plates. Beautiful detailing in those plates as well. When doing a monochromatic tablescape, you want to think texture, texture, texture. And so with that, I'm going to continue with my layering and add another layer of sophistication with these gorgeous napkins. They have a beautiful foil detail. And I'm styling it with the napkin rings from Totally Dazzled. Keeping my napkin fold simple, I wanted them to just be the perfect complement to my layering effect on the tablescape. And next, you guys, I'm going to add another layer of layer of texture. How perfect are these? They are a silver and chrome ombre wine goblet. They ombre up to a clear, perfect complement to my table setting. But I'm noticing I don't like the hardness that I'm feeling with the champagne glasses sitting on the table. So I'm going to shop my home and give you guys a couple of options to choose from. I have a couple of coaster options. And I want you to help me decide. Or would tell me which one you think I'm going to decide. Because here I have a really nice mirrored coaster. And then I have these beautiful foiled coaster. They're a champagne color. So I'm going to place one on one place setting. And then I'm going to place the other on the other place setting. And stepping back looking at it, I felt like the foil one was going to give me more interest and it complements the napkins as well so that's the one i chose did you think that's the one i chose or did you think i chose the mirror one i absolutely love when things like that happen it gives you the option to kind of play around with design and choose what works best for your table and do what feels right to you so after that was solved i'm continuing with my layering effect now this step you guys it's optional but it for a formal place setting i feel like you need serveware so here i'm going to go ahead and add on my serveware forks to the left knife and spoon to the right you guys know this it's formal table setting but it adds that extra layer of details and it gives me the formal look that i'm going for with this particular table scape again we know the beauty is in the detail so i just wanted to continue with that with my table setting and so once I am completed that, it is time to go on to the next 
section of the table. Although it is beautiful, I felt like it is now time to focus on the centerpiece. The runner is gorgeous. So I didn't want to overpower it, but I needed something to anchor. So I chose these beautiful mercury glass candlesticks I picked up from TJ Maxx. And I'm choosing to anchor it with another monochromatic layer, which are the champagne colored sequins or glittered candles. And this beauty is the center or main attraction of my piece. Gorgeous cake stand with the beautiful detailing it was just the perfect piece of resistance to this table setting, if I would say so. And you can't have champagne wishes or reindeer dreams without some gorgeous reindeer, right? So look at the detail of these beautiful acrylic reindeer. I call them my high steppers. I picked those guys up from Hobby Lobby. Now my table is looking like I want it to look, but there's something missing. I needed some softness, so I went ahead and added a couple of the champagne colored poinsettias. Picked those up from Hobby Lobby, and I just began to give that table just a little bit of softness here. Just playing around with it. I just want it to be the perfect complement without overpowering the cake stand or the runner. So consider those things when you're styling your table. Let your focal point remain your focal point. I'm stepping back, taking a final look at it, and now I am pleased with what I see, but I felt like it needed just a little bit more. How about these beauties? Gorgeous ornaments that I just didn't have to go far. I shopped my Christmas tree, picked those up, and added them to the table. And I think it is doing just enough without doing too much, if that's possible. So here, you guys, is an up-close and personal view of my finished look. And I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. I have the monochromatic, sophisticated style that I was going for. And it says nothing but holiday, holiday cheer, holiday love. I am so happy with it giving you all in place by place setting of each one notice the layering it's monochromatic but it has enough glam and interest to keep your eye pleased it is so beautiful so glam Panning around, showing you all all of the intricate detail. And as you're looking, allow me to take the time to just thank Miss Catherine for this wonderful collaboration. It has been so much fun interacting with my YouTube family and sharing ideas with you guys. So hopefully you see something to inspire you and get you ready to start designing for the holiday season. So until the next video, you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, a beautiful holiday season. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of the TMB family. I'm active on TMB Designs 2 Instagram as well as TMB Designs 2 on Facebook. I would love to see you there. Send me pictures of your designs. Let me know what inspired you. I would love to hear your feedback. So until the next video, you guys, smooches.